my hair is clean and I'm ready to get on with the day. I was going to say cosplay, but I really don't know if I'm cosplaying today. I really need to get my eyebrows done. They're really overgrown. I'm getting, I'm getting a unibrow. I need to get them waxed and trimmed. Like, look, look at that hair. Oh. I actually didn't have any coffee yet. <laughs> So I'm making coffee now, because I need a little bit of energy, a little kick, a little razzle-dazzle, a little snap, a little pep in my step. So I'm making some coffee. <laughs> Boop. Yes, I can smell it. I heard that if you have coffee enough, you um, start to feel energized just by smelling it. It's not the caffeine, of course, because the caffeine has not entered your system, but it's like, it's a stimulus sort of, like the smell makes you remember the energetic feeling, so your body starts to make you feel more energized, even though you haven't exactly drank the coffee yet. I'll see if I can take a quick screenshot of some sort of article if you want to look it up to see for yourself. This is something I just heard, by the way, so insert screenshot. That is just the summary of the article. If you want to read more into that study, feel free to look up the article title or, you know, just do a quick little Google search. You know, it's always fun to look up little random pieces of information. Um, another fun piece of information that is just so random, I thought off the top of my head, your liver, you can donate a portion of your liver to somebody else and your body will, will regrow that piece of the liver back. And the person who received your piece of the liver may also grow back liver like your liver but in them so their liver will grow and yours will and i think that's pretty cool before social media i used to work in a lab and i did engineering for a while and then i also worked during like uh covid and did some covid test sample stuff assembling kits and whatnot um so science has always interested me I still do a little bit of like research here and there for myself, like whatever personally interests me at the moment. Right now it's a lot of AI things have interested me, especially with now. It's called stable diffusion. I keep wanting to call it simple diffusion as in biology, it's a, another term and that is the one I learned first, but it's stable diffusion and it's very interesting and it is what is creating all these new different types of photoshops and generating pictures that have never been made before out of pictures that already exist and it's very fascinating you should definitely look it up but i'm gonna stop right there i'm gonna drink my coffee and i just got a package hey google turn on living room ceiling light thank you thank you google much appreciated thank you google okay i'm gonna go open up some packages why are the unders of my eyes like this did I get burned yesterday? I literally only went out in the sun for like three, four minutes to take some pictures. And then I was like, you know what? It's really sunny. Let me go back inside. And that's what I did. <laughs> so I am gonna go open my package now. I use a lot of the income I make from the Blue YouTube for clothes and costumes and such. And I believe these are just regular clothes uh, to just look cute on for, or cute with for Instagram I have purchased. Um, I usually wear my clothes a couple times and then I donate them. Uh, however, there are some pieces of clothes like, you know, sweatshirts, sweatpants, the comfy good clothes that I just keep for myself because I wear it all the time. Like if I'm not taking pictures for Instagram, I am wearing this. A t-shirt and some freaking shorts. This whole outfit probably costs like, I don't know, 10 bucks. I think I bought this, this, this pair of shorts at the flea market and this shirt at Walmart. So... <laughs> My chat was very fun. Mi vivo es muy divertido. Gracias. Thank you. I had a lot of fun. Um, here's Sigma. He's chilling with me. He just woke up from his nap. And I'm about to try on some clothes and take some pictures. As to the cosplay I do today, I don't quite know. I just kind of want to try on some clothes, take pictures for my like um, more, I guess, wholesome, normal, regular Instagram account and Twitter. 
and then maybe I'll get into cosplay and post on my more, you know, looter um, uh, cosplay account. I have the same dress in purple and red. Um, let's see. I I don't feel like I wear purple a lot, so I'm going to go with the purple. Purple dress today. And I'm going to wear this new shirt underneath it. I kind of like layering now at this point in my life. It's just extra comfy. And I think I'll wear this for the rest of today. So I put this on. I'm not quite sure how I'm feeling about the, um, uh, what's it called? The t-shirt underneath it, but I like how it looks. I think it looks pretty nice. Other than that, maybe if the t-shirt was long sleeved, I'd like it more. I mean, the more I look at it, the more I like it with the t-shirt. It says I burn easily, so I don't want to go outside and like not wear this. I've been going for walks pretty much every day outside, enjoying the weather and, and watching the sunset. And I feel like it's been good on my um, psyche, my mood, my mental state, you know, it's, it's going to be one with the nature. This is not sponsored. I just really like brownie brittle, so I'm gonna have a snack and then take my pictures. Mmm, so good. Very delicious. You have crumbs all over your shirt. That's just a snack for later, gosh. Tienes micas por todo la camisa. Lo sé. Eso es un paquetillo para. Mustarde. I take a lot of my, you know, muggle normie pictures out here because of the sunlight. Now, I know I am in the shade, but there's still a lot of natural sunlight and I find the sky to usually be very sunny in the background of my pictures. So I'm even take my pictures here if I can. Or, you know, indoors when the sun is shining uh, at the right um, brightness. But right now, the sun isn't exactly as bright as it was before. So I think out here, best fighting for pictures and editing. I forget a lot, but remember to take off the hair tie from your wrist if you ever wear one on your wrist, you know? 